Let's bring in Yaroslav Istrojic, a former director of Polish military intelligence, who joins me live from Poland. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. Good to see you, sir. I'm not sure if you have an answer to this question because uh, no one really knows what is on uh, Netanyahu's mind at uh, this point. Uh, tell me, what do you think Israel is trying to do in Gaza? Uh, it's obvious that the, the system of the tunnels is the main obstacle and the main concern of the Israel for many years. And now they have uh, a clear um, situation that they can destroy all of them or simply a uh, vast majority. Uh, of course, this uh, flooding uh, seems to be controversial and uh, it could bring some uh, dangerous outcome uh, for the whole Gaza uh, as such. But on the other hand, uh, this is the, the real uh, capability, the real possibility of uh, eliminating those, uh, those real uh, concerns for the, for the Israel. Uh, still, I mean, I'm not a specialist for the construction. Uh, but of course, there are many questions about uh, uh, the outcome and uh, the way ahead of those uh, flooding. I mean, assuming Israel goes ahead with this plan, how much of a how much of a strategic advantage is this going to give Israel? Uh, as I indicated earlier, this is uh, the main the main reason uh, of uh, activity of uh, Hamas and of co of course some other. Uh, organizations in this region. Uh, the tunnels, we know that there is the main problem not only in Gaza Strip, but also between Egypt and some other areas uh, uh, within Israel, as I could said. So uh, from strategic point of view, this is uh, really diminishing uh, the danger for the future and the security uh, of Israel. But uh, of course, I mean, I can only add sometimes uh, when you put the, the water to the mining areas, it can stabilize the, 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 uh, the mining uh, companies. But in this case, uh, this is very uh, shallow, I would say, uh, tunnels, uh, but uh, it gives... But there is another question, another question about the uh, security of the hostages, which are still, I believe, in those tunnels. So many questions ahead. But I understand that from strategic point of view, this is the number one priority to destroy the tunnels uh, for the upcoming future. Mr. Strojic, moving away from the tunnels and looking at the broader picture, I'm sure you have followed the situation evolving in Gaza since the 7th of uh, October. Tell me, what is your reading of uh, Israel's military strategy in the besieged enclave? Uh, the eliminating of the tunnel system is one of those uh, main uh, priorities of uh, Israeli armed forces, Israeli defense forces, but uh, in the broader picture, uh, there could be, they have to, let's say, think about the stability of the region and uh, think about possible outcomes of uh, uh, civilian uh, casualties in this region. But uh, step by step, uh, with those pauses so far, uh, breaks in these uh, fightings, uh, they will eliminate, eliminate uh, all those uh, uh, combatants, all those uh, Hamas uh, members uh, from that region and to keep this uh, region safe uh, at least for a couple of years from Israeli standpoint. But still the broader picture with the nations from the Middle East uh, should be also in mind of the Israeli politicians. From your experience, uh you know, studying wars in the past and uh, being a member of the Polish intelligence uh, uh, agency. Tell me, is that even possible without causing harms to civilians? Because the Gaza Strip is almost uh, the size of uh, Washington DC, perhaps a little bit bigger than that. And it's uh, completely cramped right now with uh, 2.4 million people, 1.7 of them are displaced. So is that possible without causing civilian casualties? No, it's not. That's, that's a simple answer, but uh, uh, that's all uh, facts about war, that civilians are the first casualty uh, of, the, of the war. But uh, in this case, the urban area, the urban tactics uh, uh, of uh, soldiers is the most uh, sophisticated one. And we know this from uh, perhaps not so well uh, dense uh, populated areas like in Iraq and some other uh, uh, wars as we could study. But 
In this case, this is extremely uh, difficult situation. And this, this, the answer is quite simple. You cannot avoid civilian casualties. And we see this uh, from both sides uh, from the very beginning of this uh, aggression on Israel. Mr. Yaroslav Strojic, thank you very much for talking to us here thank on TRT so World. Really appreciate your taking out the time, sir.